Yeah. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing over there? I'm just trying to go to sleep, man. <laughs> Brody sounds dead. <laughs> she sounds dead tired. Mm. Well, don't don't do that, man. Anyway, I'm gonna go, man. <laughs> you leave, expecting nothing to happen. Crony lies down on the bed, staring at the ceiling with no thoughts. Head empty, as per usual. She decides to get ready to sleep by heading to the washroom to brush her teeth. There's a lot of you narration in this. Oh, okay. As she washed her face, she looked up and saw beautiful sapphire eyes staring back at her. Crony was astonished. Why, hello there. You come around here often? <laughs> Nampa Crony. <laughs> The figure mouthed the same words back at her, and Crony thought she was being shy. <gasps> Doki, she thought. <laughs> you want to continue? Oh, perish the thought, she mourned. There is just no way that someone as perfect as her would settle for her perfection. Such anomaly would destroy Earth as is. Ingon. Suddenly, a voice is booming from above. Unless you two reconcile, you will never get out of this washroom! The two cronies were shook. Wait, there's two cronies? Two cronies?! <laughs> what?! There's two cronies?! <laughs> what sort of universe is this? Oh, so this is a... This is a crony... Ex-crony ex fanfiction! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my but, god, okay. Crony but, x crony. Gotcha. But how? Mm. To be continued, okay? <laughs> Next chapter. Oh, there's more. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot something in Crony's room. Root unlocked. Locked root. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Found key item in bathroom mirror. <laughs> wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. Do we actually have to find a key? Oh wait. No, no, we don't. We what don't, happened right? to your stream? Is your stream okay? Uh, yeah, I think my stream died, but I think it should be back. It should be back, at least. Okay, okay, okay. According to my... It's back, right? Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> it's unlocked, okay. <clears throat> Crony? Hello? Nobody answered the door. So you just barge in, because honestly, the setting of the story is your house. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's weird. Nobody's around. Suddenly, you hear something from the bathroom. A crony. <laughs> Curious, you approach the bathroom and knock the non-existent door. Just to be polite. Oh, I guess this is me. Crony, are you there? You, help me get out of this washroom. What? How? Ho, 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 ho. Your idiot friend cannot hear me at all. Now reconcile or else. Who am I supposed to reconcile <laughs> with? The toilet bowl? <laughs> your knocking intensifies. Cause, cause you're concerned. I don't know. This pesky troublemaker. Suddenly, the door disappeared, and your swinging only makes you... And you accidentally cabbage ah! on the crony in the mirror. <laughs> no! This isn't how it was supposed to be! The crony stares at a reflection in the mirror, dumbfounded. Hey, you. Are you a crony? What is it? What is it? No, it's just that... The mirror. There's only my reflection on there. You don't have a reflection. To be continued. Oh, by the way, you and Crony hold hands at some point and God is kind of pissed. <laughs> Wait, so this is... This is a fanfiction between Crony and her... And her reflection? You know... I don't know anymore. 